Okay, they finally. Hey, I just did, wanted to do this. I was looking into it last night and then had to wait forever for my damn computer to come on because stupid Windows was updating when I cut it on. So it took like a fucking hour or so. But anyway, uh, nine Bronze Age tombs found in Eastern Romania. This was from uh, three days ago. Uh, so anyway, um, got some stuff to show in Google Earth and stuff. So uh, we just a minute here. I gotta catch the YouTube when it comes on, but I'll go into more about, you know, it's more than a tomb. There's, you know, I me, mean, the art stuff, you know, it's monasteries, but they look, the art stuff, that's what I look at. I don't, into the religious stuff, so but anyway. And a couple other things there, too. So, <clears throat> anyway, I'm waiting on the YouTube to catch up. So. Ah, shit. Okay, finally. I think it's doing. Okay. Loading, loading. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 I don't know, uh, you know, how my sound will do, because, anyway, I hope it does okay. Oh, shit. I don't want to click the red button. So there we go. Uh, hey to everybody be watching this with playback and who may be watching now. I don't know. No people. Anyway, that shit. Check out that stuff fixed right here. Maybe that's got some. I'll look at that later. I just wanted this. I couldn't find that many. This is the only picture I could find. That's what I'm looking at anyway. Because uh, we're going to put it in a museum and stuff like that. So, uh, anyway. And stuff. Alrighty, I hope it's showing. Uh, here it is. Uh, nine Bronze Age tombs discovered in Eastern Romania, and that's the museum where it's gonna stuff is gonna be. Uh, it's dated back to the Bronze Age. They were discovered it here. I'm not even trying to pronounce that. So, um, in Eastern Romania, is it Bizal County? Uh, maybe, I think it's Carlo Monesti. Maybe not got the pronunciation quite right, but uh, they've identified them alongside several objects that will be restored and put on display. It's not the first time they've made important discoveries in the area. They've been working there the in the past, but only recently restarted works after a break of several years. They believe to belong to people who lived in the area between 2000 and 1600 BC. You know how you know they do with the date and stuff. That could be off by a couple hundred there or something. You know how that works. Uh, some tombs were located closer to the surface and were not so well preserved because of the agricultural works in the area. But those deeper in the ground have rich inventories. Each tomb usually has a minimum of three jugs. Also, bronze pieces, items used for keeping braided hair together, bracelets, bronze collars, spindles, beautiful jugs in Romania for their shape and preservation. Jake jug with eight long fragments from pig feet, probably used as toys. <laughs> uh, they'll be joining the existing bronze age at the county museum to explode. Another project developing an
can there. Located in there. And there's the about the economy. <clears throat> tourism stuff and the politics. Check out this stuff out if you want there, like I said. The sculpture camp. Man, that's pretty neat. I'll have to look at that later. Anyway, let's see if I can get that. Hey you guys. How's the audio now? Hi guys, by the way. It's because I was screen sharing. I, I cut off Google Earth, so y'all can look that stuff up on the Google Earth. I'll reload and come back, so give me just a sec here guys. Okay, how's it now? There's a delay. So, uh, let me try closing the scene. Step there. Uh -huh. Sounds like I'm 10 feet from the mic. Might be my fan. Uh, or the windows I have open. So, shit. Damn it. Let me try to move it closer. Maybe that'll help. Let's see. If that helps. So let me check my settings. Okay. That's good. Uh so yeah, I got the links. I gotta put them I got some to put below here. Damn it. Okay, awesome. Uh, I got a couple more things. I'll put them, this one in the chat there, that one about, oh crap, oops, what did I do? I messed up with my notepad, sorry. <laughs> okay, Phew. damn. Uh, okay, there's that. But I, I got a lot of links I'm going to put below too, so uh, the searches and, and stuff, so that's that one. I mean, I love that history stuff, so. Uh, let's see. Let's see cool, cool. Okay. Okay, and this next one's a PDF. I'm not going to read much of it. I'm just going to show it really quick. Uh, set my fountain searching. So, uh. Late prehistory and proto history, Bronze Age and Iron Age. Uh, the emergence of warrior societies and its economic, social, and environmental consequences. See, look at the the world today. You know that's the kind. Of, that's like we've said. It's set up to fail. See right here. I uh, can't highlight nothing, but anyways, I thought this was interesting to bring up and show. Uh, put the link in the chat there if you want to check it out. Uh, I've only got to skim through it a little bit, uh, so, like I said, it's computer issues this morning, so, but anyway, um, I thought that was pretty interesting, uh, so, there we go, okay, but I just wanted to, you know, show that there. I'll throw that in the chat there. Hey, Dud, Foxy, Gas, and Matt. Hey, you guys. 
there's that PDF. So, oh shit, I stopped screen sharing. Derp. <laughs> so, uh, okay, there's that. Ah, look. Okay. Anyways, uh, like I said, I got a, a cup. I had the, the points on my Google Earth say that that's what was messing with my audio. So, uh, I'd love to be able to show it too, but with the windows open and the Google Earth open and plus screaming Netflix back in the back of the house, it don't do good. So, but I hope everybody's having a good day and has had a good day wherever you are. So, I know it's 5.46 p.m. or 5 p.m. So, uh, anyways, uh, it's just cool stuff I come across I wanted to share. So, and uh, we have something at the end there. At the end here that, you know, it's not history stuff. It's more what's going on now in that area. So, I uh, found it while I was searching too. So, uh, I thought I would throw that at the end there. So, uh, so it was expected though. I mean, it's happening all over the world. It's what I'm going to show there at the end. So, but anyway, uh, it's really, let me get a sec here, y'all. Okay. Hey, you guys. Yeah, we're living real history. Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, I thought this was stuff was, I come across this while I was researching it, that too. So, um, crap. I pushed the red button again. Okay, here we go. More Murfatlar Cave Complex, a medieval Christian monastery located near the town of, that I just said, in Romania. Uh, it's a relic from a widespread monastic phenomenon in 10th century Bulgaria. Uh, I just thought it was really interesting. Uh, it was carved into a chalk hill and discovered in 1957. Uh, uncovered a complex of cells, dwellings, four small and two larger churches, crypts, and tombs dating from 9th to the 11th century. And says from the late 7th until the beginning of the 11th, this territory was part of the first Bulgarian Empire. Oh wow, I'll look at that too. Uh, there are many inscriptions engraved on the walls in Greek alphabet, Old Slavonic, and Glagolithic. I'll have to check this stuff out. I missed this. Like I said, I had I did this kind of quick because my computer issues. But anyway, acrylic script. Wow, cool. Uh, and uh, Turkey. Uh, the same type of runes have been used on the Pliska Rosette and can be found on building materials on and on the 9th century walls of the first Bulgarian capital, Pliska. The Turkic ruins in that place, Murfatlar, were based probably on the Karosi script. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Script. Uh, the language of the ruins is presumably Bulgar, as suggested by some scholars. Uh, according to some Romanian researchers, some graffiti, including a Viking navy, interpreted as Baron Ver I ain't gonna product Berangian. Uh and however they could have been carved by the local monks monks during the Rus invasions of Bulgaria. I just thought this was why well, I didn't know it was all that well I should have known but I'll have to look into all this even a little more after I do this so cool. Uh but here's the first Bulgarian Empire there uh so like a, i'll leave all these links below y'all so uh what the hell was uh okay yeah that's pretty neat so um i do have some pictures here so yeah that's pretty cool check that out Look at that stuff. The serpent. Look at that thing. Look 
there's the what they'd call now like, I bet like the Pebbles Cross so I hope my sound is okay y'all check that out that's pretty neat see there I think that's about all of them yeah that's I thought this was pretty neat y'all so what's this next one I'll give you a sec here so anyways Oh yeah, we could learn something from the old days. Yeah, the Bronze Age is a historical period characterized by the use of bronze, proto writing, the three age stone, bronze, iron system for classifying and studying ancient societies. That's right, I guess. Yes. Uh, let me sort this where it goes. So, oh crap, that ain't where you go. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I love looking back at this stuff there, Foxy, you know, because it's you can learn a lot, you know, like I showed that PDF and the, uh, 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 what it does to societies, the war mongering stuff, you know, uh, so, and they know that, you know, like I said, the history, uh, so that's like we said, that all this was planned well in advance, the collapse of, of uh, like, my country is set up to fall. Uh, and it's happening now. Like we said, we're living history. Uh, so, but uh, let's see where I was at. Okay. But yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Cool. Okay, I close these as I go. So, Just a sec here. Okay. All right there. I ain't got much go left to go here till I get to the part at the end. So, uh, the Bribu Monastery in Romania is one of the most important architectural achievements of the rule of Matei Basarab and of Romanian art in the 17th century. Constructions began in 1640. It's located in this present-day locality of this place in Romania. Like I said, I had these on the Google Earth, but I had to close it too. Uh, situated in the foothills here in these mountains. Uh, it's currently preserved in its initial form, being one of the few Romanian medieval monuments that is significantly significantly preserved its chapel is similar to that of this monastery I didn't see that either and has dimensions of 30 by 10 meters constructed in triconic formation with a tower extending from the nave and another two smaller towers from the pre-nave the walls are I ain't gonna say all this shit it's just saying the thickness and stuff of it but anyway it's it's uh says the access tower complex in the complex is fairly large and is regarded as one of the most beautiful examples of such constructions found in Romania situated in the southern part of the complex and has three levels 20 meters height and the third was used for bells so anyway it's, it's surrounded by a six meter high wall with irregular octagonal shape it's made out of stone and burnt bricks so it was restored in 63 but here's some pictures here. I just thought it looked really neat there. So, and of course, you know, they have their symbolism in this stuff there uh, with the architecture. But uh, I just thought it looked really, it really interesting. Like we, I've said to go back and look at this stuff and how it's, things are not so different now you know it's like we said history repeats itself that's why it's important to go back and look at this stuff because you can learn a lot so that's really neat that, that must be that tall tower there so anyway i thought that was really neat and what's this other monastery 
see looks they look similar you know the, the area they're all going to look similar so there so keep that one too and stuff so uh let me i got another one let me find it oh this is the uh uh the prince he was a Walkini, Walkian, I, like I said, I can't pronounce this stuff right, but the prince of that area, and that's what they were talking about here. Uh, one of the most important architectural achievements of his rule. Uh, so, he is noted, he was an enlightened ruler, and is noted for introducing the printing press to Wallachia. And creating the first Wallachian code of laws. Oh well, yeah, and not surprising. Uh, he created their code of laws. Yay! <laughs> Here it's just telling the history about his reign and stuff, his laws and reforms and everything. Uh, so, like I said, I'll leave all these links down below. And here's another monastery. It looks similar to see. Uh, it's in Bucharest, Paleolithic, it's inhabited starting from the Paleolithic, a million and 10,000 BC between them. It's the site of the oldest known settlement on the territory of Romania. So, uh, it's also the site of the remains of a fortified settlement from the Dacian area, era. Sorry. Uh, so, and like I said, you know, you can look this up on Google Earth and stuff. And it's on the banks of the Dam Bovida River and close to the Romanian Patriarchal Cathedral. It's in the mid, right in the middle of Bucharest. Like we said, they, there's significance in where they put these things too. You know, they line up with other places and stuff too. So. Uh, but here's some pictures of it. That's really nice artwork there. That's what I'm looking at. But like I said, it's all got symbolic uh, meaning to them and their religious ritual stuff. So, see, look how they're dressed here. So, there's the old picture. Anyway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if he was Vulcan. <laughs> yeah, it was conquered by Vikings for a time. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, Yeah, I like that too, Gas. That was really interesting. Uh, I love that stuff. Me too. Yeah. Well, anytime I think of Romania. And you know who's related to Vlad Dracula? <laughs> Prince Charles. <laughs> so, I uh, look into that too. So, uh, anyways. Let me close this stuff out and I'll get to the other stuff. I better fix that for when I go to search something else, it'll be humongous. So, okay, here we go. Give me just a second. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and here is the part where I'm going to talk about uh, other stuff. The first documented mentioning of Braun Castle is the act issued by Louis I of Hungary on 19th November 1377. That ain't that long ago. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And this here, that's just it. Something I found there. It's, it's, it's relevant. Like I was talking about how they set these, set, setting all these countries, corporations up to fail. You know, like I said. Anyway. Uh. OTP Bank agrees to buy Romania's Banca Romanesca 
that's no surprise to me. So uh, this is happening more wide. Uh, from agreed to by Romania's Banca Romanesca from the National Bank of Greece. It's the most powerful banking group in Hungary. OTP. So uh, the uh, sources in the banking market told local finance here this June that OTP is in their pole position in the tender for acquiring local lender Banca Romanesca. According to these sources, Banca Transylvania was also in the race. Uh, BG plans to sell more assets in the Balkans, including its remaining operations, to complete a restructuring plan agreed with European authorities. So that's all it says there pretty much. So, but here is uh, and it's about the OTP Bank. Uh, it's one of the largest independent financial services providers in Central and Eastern Europe with full range banking services for pri private individuals and corporate clients. OTP Group comp comprise large subsidiaries granting service in the field of insurance, real estate, factoring, leasing, asset man management, investment, and pension funds. It's serving clients in nine countries, Hungary, Slovakia, Bulgaria, Serbia, Romania, Croatia, Ukraine, Montenegro, and Russia. So, like I said, I want to found something about that last night, too. I'll have to... Hmm. Anyway. Um, look at that, too. So, anyways. And there's about the Banca Romanesca. Not much there, see they're getting bought out so and national bank of greece that they're buying it from so what's that oh that's that other place but anyway um uh, that's pretty much it, it there so oh crap i hope i saved that oh shit whoops i closed the wrong one <laughs> whoopsie I didn't save this. I'm glad I caught that. Awesome. Okie dokie. But yeah, anyway, that's, like I said, that's no surprise that that's happening. So, there we go. Yeah, all the elite are related. I was looking into one uh, a while back. Uh, let me find it. Um, this is really interesting. Uh, if it'll pull it up for me. There we go. Alexander, Crown Prince of Yugoslavia, uh, last heir apparent or heir presumptive to the defunct throne of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, and is currently the claimant to the throne, to the abolished throne of the precursor kingdom of Serbia. He's the head of the House of Karadovic. He's the only child of former King Peter II and his wife, Alexandra of Greece and Denmark. He's legally held the title Crown Prince Alexander in the Democratic Federal Yugoslavia for the first four and a half months of his life until his father's disposition by Yugoslavia's communist authorities in late November of the same year. That was 1945. And he, born and raised in the UK, he enjoys close relationships with his relatives in the British royal family. Of course, like he said, they're all related. And it is known for his support of monarchism and its humanitarian work. His godfather was King George the Sixth. Vi, I'm not good with the Roman numerals, y'all. And then Princess Elizabeth, you know, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, he's his. She is his third cousin. Uh, as our former, as are the former King of Greece and the former King of Romania. So they're third cousins. Uh, her and Alexander Crown Prince of Yugoslavia. He was born at Clare Ridge, a five-star hotel at the corner of Brook Street and Davies Street in Mayfair, London. Uh, has long-standing connections with royalty that have led to it sometimes being referred to as an annex to Bunking Buckingham Palace. So, and I, I'll leave the links for that below as well. So, uh, anyways, I'll go ahead and throw them down there while I'm thinking about it. So, let's see here. Okay. 
Okay, let me get these others about him. And he's in all them them lovely secret societies, not so secret anymore, I should say. So, uh, that has connected to what I was talking about there too, the, in Romania. Uh, like I said, uh, his third cousin is Queen Elizabeth and the former king of Greece and the former king of Romania. So, uh, there we go. All of that's below. Should be there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So. I know it's, it's crazy how many people have died in wars over political movements, nationalists versus communists, and everything in between. Yeah, gas, it is. Uh, it is crazy, but that's how it's set up. They put us against each other, and really, like we said, they're all the same team. So, um, so let me see how long I've been going here. like I've been talking forever <laughs> um, I'm glad I, I didn't just make a video because it would have took two videos worth there so uh, yeah anyway uh, this is something I wanted to do there I wanted to do that about Alexander there but uh, I'm glad I waited because it kind of tied in with that because he's related to the former king of Romania so uh, anyway, I thought that was worth mentioning. Thanks for bringing that up. But they're all related. They are all related. So even our presidents. So um, yeah. Uh, so let's see here. That's all I had. So um, anybody you know wants to join me here after. Let me know, and I'll 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 throw the link in there. So, um, anyway, uh, have been up. I got up like ten thirty. Like I said, the computer updating for like an hour. So, uh, anyway, it was really annoying. <laughs> so. Anyways, so, um, not much else, like I said, that was pretty much all I had there, um, looked at it last night, and was too tired to look into it anymore, so, uh, but yeah, it's amazing what you find when you look back on history there, so, and they know, you know, the, the, what they're doing to the world now, they know what it's going to do, like we said, that's all planned, you know, the, the, falls of these corporations countries whatever um because of this war mongering stuff you know and the economy you know how they set the economies up to fail that goes right along with it so um yeah anyways um Um, I think that's about it for me, so, uh, like I said, anybody wants to join here after, uh, let me know. I'll throw it in there. So, let's see, I've been about 34 minutes, that's not too bad, so, anyways. So. Okie dokie. Um, we'll be doing a show this Friday at 6 Eastern, so um, changing perceptions. So, uh, anyways, okie dokie. Thanks y'all for watching Matt, the Foxy, Matt, the Foxy, Gas Mask, uh, and whoever else has watched along the way there. So, uh, appreciate it y'all so it's just for fun stuff but like I said we've said you can learn a lot from looking back at this stuff uh, 
So, um, and, and I'm going to definitely check into that uh, writings on them cave walls and stuff too. So that was really interesting. Uh, so, um, anyways. But, uh, yeah. What is that? There's something else I was going to bring up and I totally forgot. I know I hadn't done nothing on this. Okay. I'll save them for another time. So, anyway. You too, guys. Yeah, I'll save them for another day. So. I'll catch y'all later then there, so have a great day, you know, like I said there in the chat, y'all. Much love. I'll see you later. Mwah. Oh, yeah. See you later. I don't know what I was going to say. Good day. <laughs>